In the diagram below, it shows two skateboards A and B initially at rest, with a cat standing on skateboard A. The skateboards are in a straight line, one in front of the other, and a short distance apart. The surface is flat, frictionless, and horizontal. 4.1 then asks, state the principle of conservation of linear momentum in words. So the principle of conservation of linear momentum tells us that the total momentum before a collision or an explosion needs to equal the total momentum after an explosion or a collision. It is then said that each skateboard has a mass of 3.5 kg and the cat a mass of 2.6 kg. The cat jumps from skateboard A with a horizontal velocity of 3 meters per second and lands on skateboard B with the same velocity. We can evaluate this problem in two parts. Part A has to do with the cat and skateboard A, whereas part B has to do with the cat and skateboard B. Now in part A, we are dealing with an explosion. In the beginning, we have the cat on the skateboard as one body, and afterwards, there is a skateboard which we move to the left, and the cat moving to the right with a velocity of three meters per second. In part B, we are dealing with a collision. We have a cat with a velocity of 3 meters per second jumping onto a stationary skateboard B. Thereafter, the cat and the skateboard would move with a velocity to the right. If we apply the principle of conservation of linear momentum, we can write it as follow. So in the beginning, we have the mass of the cat as well as the mass of the skateboard as one body, moving at the same velocity, which in this case would just be zero. After the explosion, we have the mass of the skateboard, the velocity of the skateboard moving to the left, and the mass of the cat and the velocity of the cat moving to the right. In part B, we have the mass of the cat and the velocity of the cat colliding with skateboard B, so we have the mass of the skateboard and the velocity of the skateboard. This would be equal to the mass of the cat plus the mass of the skateboard, seeing as they are now stuck to each other, moving away as one body with the same velocity. 4.2 then asks, calculate the velocity of skateboard A just after the cat has jumped from it for a total of 5 marks. So in 4.2 we are asked to calculate this velocity that the skateboard would move away with. We can apply the principle of conservation of linear momentum in order to solve this velocity. Remember that direction is important and I will take right to be positive seeing as most of my motion is to the right. Which gives us an answer of negative 2.23. Seeing as the negative is only indicating direction, I can rewrite my answer as a positive and indicate the direction. Immediately after the cat has landed, the cat and the skateboard B move horizontally to the right at 1.28 meters per second. 4.3 asks, calculate the magnitude of the impulse on skateboard B as a result of the cat's landing for a total of 3 marks. So remember, in order to calculate impulse, we can use one of the following formulas. Seeing as we have the velocity of the cat before it lands, as well as the velocity of the cat after the landing, as well as the velocity of the skateboard before and after the landing, we can use this formula. Now what is important when you're using this formula is to either use the mass and the velocities of the cat or the mass and the velocities of the skateboard, but you cannot combine the two. So I'm going to use the mass of the cat, the final velocity of the cat, as well as the initial velocity of the cat. Which gives me an answer of negative 4.472 newtons per second. Now remember that the negative is only there to indicate direction, so I can rewrite this as a positive answer with my two decimal places and indicate my direction. Now remember we took right to be positive, therefore this negative is indicating that my cat would experience an impulse to the left. We were, however, asked to calculate the impulse on the skateboard. Now remember that impulse is the same for the two bodies colliding, so the impulse on the skateboard would also be 4.47, except in opposite direction. 
if we just quickly go back to the question, they did ask us for the magnitude. So it would have been perfectly fine to just end with the answer of 4.47 newton per second without having to indicate the direction. On another note, just remember that impulse can be either measured in newton per second or kilogram meters per second.